Well, season 5 is over. It seems that the show is pretty much up to date with the book, so let's go look at some theories online to raise the hype levels for next season! Grey Worm is really a worm. Bruce Bolton is an immortal White Walker who wears the skin of other people? N plus L equals J? Oh no. Hello, my name is Hoverwolf, and I've been looking into a lot of theories in Game of Thrones or A Song of Rest and Fire, depending on your preference. And there are some really good theories out there. Sadly, with good theories, there must also be crazy ones. Get ready to put on your tinfoil hats, because here's the top 5 weirdest Game of Thrones series that I've come across. Also, there's definitely going to be spoilers in this, so yeah, don't watch if you don't want to be spoiled. What if the deaths of all the Starks have all been lies? What if every single one of them managed to walk into something before their eventual death? For number 5, I am combining all of the walking theories with the Starks, excluding the Jon Snow and Ghost theory. The theories I'm talking about are more specifically to do with Rob and Ned. The theory of Rob is that when he died at the Red Wedding, he walked into Grey Wind, his dire wolf. Of course, Grey Wind also dies at the Red Wedding, but apparently Rob walks again, but into a Frey Man before Grey Wind's ultimate death. This leaves Rob to still be alive and in another person's body, so yeah. And the walking fear of Ned is that he walked into his sword, Ice, before his head was cut off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Number 4 is quite a complex theory, so make sure to put your tinfoil hats on extra tight. The theory starts with stating that King's Landing is Phoebus, or however you pronounce it. Phoebes, Phoebe, Phoebus, uh, I don't know. Because it has seven gates, like the seven gated Phoebus. Phoebus was famous for being the home of Opidius, Oedipus, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oedipus killed his father and, um, well, he kind of married his mother. The theory states that Tyrion is Oedipus because he killed his father, but where does that marrying the mother part come in? Tyrion's mother was Joanna, who died giving birth to Tyrion. Well, <laughs> this theory compares Tyrion to Danny's deceased child, Rhaego, as they were both described as being monstrous and twisted when they were born. Somehow when Rhaego was being born, he was somehow sent back in time through the magic of Miri. Then the fairy states that he was transported back to Joanna, who was pregnant at the time and giving birth to a child. This child would come to be Tyrion, so he may be born and then kill his father, or adopted father. Later on in the Game of Thrones or Second of Ice and Fire, he would meet Danny and Isos. Then he would marry her apparently, and then this would fulfill the theory. This would make Tyrion the stallion who mounts the world, as well as the king of Westeros. Also, I don't really see where um, Carl Drogo's genetics fit into Tyrion. Yeah. Yeah. Rickon Stark has always been an odd Stark. Unlike the other Stark children, Rickon lacks intelligence, but is very strong for his age. This apparently means that Ned Stark isn't really Rickon's father. But then who is? Well, this theory claims that Hodor is Rickon's father. I just repeat that. Hodor is Rickon's father. Yeah, um, I think we should just let that soak in. Because of the fact that this three-year-old northern child is pretty dumb, wild, but strong for his age, then that means that Hodor is his father. This is just pure brilliance. This theory states that onions are the source of evil within the world of Game of Thrones. Yeah. The series starts off talking about the siege at Storm's End during Robert's Rebellion. During the siege, Stormland soldiers were forced to eat shoe leather and other stuff because of the lack of food. However, Davos came along in his little boat and saved the day with a bunch of onions. However, onions literally only consist of water and you need about 8,000 of them a day to barely survive. This apparently makes onions evil along with Sir Davos. The theory continues to state that onions are evil because they are sometimes mentioned by certain people within certain situations. Such as Sam, 
who is force feeding a dying Night's Watch brother some onion soup. Further proclaiming the evilness of the onions. I'm not going to go into full detail with this theory because as you can tell it's pretty dumb. But yeah, that was the basic premise. I'll leave a link in the description of the actual video. I'm gonna go eat some onions now. Yeah. Okay, this theory is so ridiculous I just had to put it at number one. Varys is a mermaid. Yeah. You heard that right. Varys is a beautiful, elegant mermaid. Or merman. Or whatever the male equivalent is. The theory supports this because apparently you never see Varys' feet because of the dresses he always wears uh, all of the time. Like right now. Okay, there's non existing feet. More evidence towards this theory is that Varus once said that you'd be surprised if you were to throw him into the sea and stuff. So, yeah. And that's literally it. The, yeah, that's it. That's the theory. There's also a bunch of other evidence stating that mermaids do exist in Westeros, as they've been seen by fishermen at Lannisport, and the fact that the Manderly Sigil is a mermaid. But is Varus really a mermaid? Yeah, maybe not. But just picture it. Varys gliding through the water with his scaly tail, flowing through it like an arrow gliding through her. It's just... It's just... No. And that was it. Top 5 Game of Thrones dumb theories. Uh, what? Some people might be wondering. Why are you doing a Game of Thrones video? Not a gaming video. Since this is a channel for gaming, right? Well... This channel was centered mainly around my top fives and like top tens, so like honestly anything with a nerdy thing is good. And I like Game of Thrones and I do a lot of Game of Thrones stuff as well because I do the game and I also do Mountain Blades and yeah. 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 I might follow this up with like a top five favorite theories, um, yeah. Like, I have a few theories that not ma many people know about, which I think are really cool, like this one that I like about Gendry and it's really sick. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did like this style of video, you might want to check out my other ones, or consider subscribing, or liking, or something, because then you can see my other ones, and my other ones are kind of in the style of this, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to finish videos, so, yeah. Ravis flying for the sky was a mermaid tail. Yes, bye. I'm just gonna say bye. I have no idea what that was.